Welcome to TLH Patterns. In uh, today's video, I'll show you how to crochet this uh, beautiful and uh, easy scarf. There are only two rows which uh, you'll be repeating. The scarf is about 10 and half inches wide and the length is 72 inches. The length can be adjusted. You'll need about 615 meters or uh, 670 yards of uh, any medium worsted weight yarn which is category 4. Along with it, you will need a 5 mm crochet hook. Let's begin. First, make a slip knot and then work 41 chains. So, these chains are in multiples of 7 plus an additional 6. So, if you're using this pattern to make a wider scarf or uh, anything else other than a scarf, you can make chains in multiples of 7 and add 6 more chains to it. Now we will start the first row. You will skip the first 3 chains from the hook and then work a double crochet into the next chain which is the 4th chain. So this skipped 3 chains will count as your first stitch and then make double crochet in the next 2 chains. So totally you will be having 4 stitches. Now skip the next chain and work cluster chain 1 and cluster into the next chain. Skip one chain, go to the next chain, yarn over hook, insert hook in the next chain and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, insert hook in the same chain and pull up a loop. Again yarn over, insert hook in the same chain and pull up a loop. Now you'll have six loops plus the one already there. So seven loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through. The first six loops on the hook. Again, yarn over and pull through the two loops on the hook. This is a cluster. Now chain one and work another cluster in the same chain. Yarn over hook, insert hook in the same chain and pull up a loop. Again, yarn over, insert hook in the same chain, pull up a loop. Once again yarn over, insert hook in the same chain, pull up a loop. Now yarn over and pull through first 6 loops on the hook. And then yarn over and pull through the remaining 2 loops. Then skip the next chain and work double crochet in the next 4 chains. Now repeat the following up to the end of the row. Skip one chain. You'll skip one chain and work cluster chain one and cluster in the next chain. And then you'll skip one chain and work double crochets in the next four chain. So this will be repeated up to the end of the row. While you are working the cluster stitch, uh, keep the loops a bit loose, don't make them very tight. So here I have finished uh, cluster chain 1 and cluster. Now I will skip the next chain and work double crochets in the next uh, 4 chains. And then I will skip the next chain and work cluster chain 1 and cluster in the next chain. Repeat this across. This is the completed first row and now we will start the next row. Make uh, 3 chains. This will count as the first stitch. Turn and uh, work double crochet in the next 3 double crochets. Then instead of cluster, chain 1 cluster, work double crochet, chain 1 and double crochet into the chain 1 space. Then work double crochet in the next 4 double crochet, followed by double crochet, chain 1 and double crochet in the 
chain 1 space. Repeat it across. Now into this chain 1 space, I am working double crochet, chain 1 and double crochet. You will work the last stitch in the 3 chains, the top of the 3 chains that uh, forms the first stitch of your uh, previous row. We will start row 3, make uh, 3 chains and turn and work double crochet in the next 3 double crochets. And now into the next chain 1 space, work, cluster, chain 1 and cluster. Then double crochet in the next uh, 4 double crochets. Now this double crochet is... Um, the double crochet after the chain 1 space so you will not work into that stitch be careful after the 4 double crochets work cluster chain 1 and cluster into the next chain 1 space uh, repeat this across so these are the two rows you will need to repeat rows 2 and uh, 3 where uh, you will work cluster chain 1 cluster in one row and uh, double crochet chain 1 double crochet in the chain 1 space of the next row so these two rows will be worked alternately repeat this until you reach the desired length for your scarf which could be 68 to 75 inches long or uh, more please give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial I have a return pattern in my blog the lazy hobby hopper dot blogspot dot com.